Hello everyone, uh, this is Mike Blachik, creator of Sagaborn. Uh, I am making this video to show everyone how to make a character with the new Sagaborn Basic Role-Playing Edition. This is, uh, I entered the Chaosium uh, contest to make new worlds and new systems using their basic role-playing. And uh, I got, a, you know, a bait, a, a very alpha version done in time for the contest and I'm continuing continuing to grow the system and what I want to do is run a uh, West Marches style campaign so that way we can have lots of people playing lots of people testing and seeing what needs to uh, change what should stay the same and basically how the system should grow so the first step if everyone's going to join the West Marches is they need to learn how to play or how to make their character uh, for the uh, BRP edition of Sagaborn and I think I made it pretty easy. So um, what you see on the screen is uh, the uh, main website, which has all the alpha docs. They're linked in Google Drive. And uh, those are, you know, updated almost daily as we find new things that have to be tweaked. Um, but there's enough there to make your character. And to the left, I've made a Google Sheets uh, version of the character sheets. That way... A lot of the the grunt work of making a, a character is automated you know when you roll your characteristics it gives you your bonuses for skills and things autofill so um, I'm hoping it's it's gonna be a pretty easy tutorial so uh, the first thing you'll do is uh, if you go to sagaborn.com slash sagaborn BRP uh, you'll come to this website on the right and if you scroll all the way down to the bottom we have the normal printable character sheet but then we also have a link to the digital uh, spreadsheet and if you click that it'll open up the one on the right you just go to file make a copy and it will make a copy in your drive of a new uh, character sheet and so I'm going to do uh, my focus today is to make a ranger style character uh, that's all I, I've done a fighter one I've done a mage one now I just want to see you know how character creation goes with a ranger so uh, the next step is we go right down here to uh, chapter two, creating a character. Go open that new window. And it gives a basic rundown of the things to do. Uh, I think it's a pretty quick, simple thing, especially if you've done basic role playing before, it should go very quickly. Um, now we're going to uh, build also the character based in the world that the uh, campaign will be taking place in, which is the world of the dark return. Uh, which you can find out more at uh, darkreturn.com if you're interested. So first thing we'll do is we'll roll uh, 1d10. So I rolled a 3. So I'm Tarian, which means I was born uh, in the uh, world of Athelese, or as the elves call it, Euteria. So next we go down here to table LT1. Roll again. I got a 7, so I am Dwarven. I'm going to come over here under Species right dwarven so that says head to table lt3 just right down here roll another 10 and i rolled a nine. Oh, so i'm a greyhound dwarf means i'm part of the more strict dwarven group uh and i'm hoping to put out a dwarven book at some point i know i've been talking about it for years and i just need to get it done i keep getting distracted with other projects and art and uh well if anyone knows me that's just what happens uh so now we're going to head down to lt5 which is going to give us our heritage bonus and i rolled a six so i'm skilled so i gain five personal skill points uh to spend on skills so i'm gonna type that off somewhere to the right so that way i uh remember that later on so now we head to Profession Life Path. Now, if you played basic role-playing, you know that Profession is a uh, very important thing because it gives you your starting, your Profession skills, which is where you get to put most of your points in the beginning, but it also, uh, in, in Sagaborn, gives you your starting equipment. So I'm going to roll to see what I would normally get. So I got a 24, which is an entertainer. Uh, as it says, I always say... Choose your profession or let fate decide. I'm not happy with what fate decided for me. I said I wanted to make a ranger. So we're going to go down here to hunter. So that's 
I would have, you know, 47 to 54, so nine points there to, to see if I can get uh, the hunter if I had rolled it actually with the, with the dice. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip past the rest of the life path, which you can do, which can sort of inform the character because I'm making a more generic character here. And we're going to go right down to the most important uh, beginning step. Well, obviously, besides figuring out the profession, uh, the characteristics. And the reason profession should go first is so that way you know where you want to assign these numbers. And uh, also on the character sheet, I also have a quick uh, list of instructions for how you want to do things. Um but we're going to go side by side with the Google Sheet on the right, so that way we know we're going along and seeing what everyone will be able to see, whether you're writing on paper or using the digital sheet. So the first thing is it says to roll 3d6 five times for strength, constitution, power, dex, and charisma. So I'm going to roll. Oh, wow. All right. So I'm going to write these just to the side so I have them on the character sheet. So 15 on the first roll. Then we got 12 on the next. And then we got 10 on the next. And then we got, there we go, a lower one. Seven, all right, so one more high one, come on. And we got 10. So pretty average stats there. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put uh, the 15 in dex, the 12, hmm, 12 in con, 10 in strength. I'm going to do 7 in charisma, and the other 10 in power. So I've got to delete these because we no longer need them. And it, for some reason, did a conditional format. Nope. Format alternating colors. So there we go. For some reason, it put in alternating colors on the side there. All right. So now we've got. Uh, so you can see right here on the right, it already filled out our effort, effort idea, luck, agility rolls, and so on. Uh, the next thing that we have to to do is figure out our intelligence, which is. Uh, to the sheet on the right, 2d6 plus 6 for intelligence. So I rolled, oh wow, a 3 plus 6, so 9 intelligence. So this hunter is going to be uh, a little bit below average there. And then uh, the next line is for size, which is the final thing we need to do for characteristics, is uh, it's based on the species. So, uh, oh, look at that, dwarves is spelled wrong. Dwarves rolled 2d6 plus 4. So I rolled oh, 9 plus 4, so 13 in size. So he's a pretty tall, hefty dwarf. Uh, so there's also uh, a list here if you want to do point-based character creation, uh, but I I am, have fallen in love with doing the uh, old-school roll for your character. Now, next we want to go down to... Uh, your characteristic roles. Now, on if you're using the character sheet, the digital one, it's going to fill all those in for you, which are these ones on the right here. Uh, so then we'll move down to derive stats. So then we got uh, damage modifier. And damage modifier uh, is defined down here under definitions. And that's based on adding your strength and size. So 10 plus 13 is 23. So I get a zero damage mod. All right, then we'll move back up. Hit points. So on your character sheet, on the digital character sheet, it already figures that out for you. It adds uh, con plus size. So 12 plus 13 is 25. And then if you're going to use this sheet for play, uh, what you can do is you don't type in your, you don't change your hit points. You actually type in your wounds so like lethal or subdual and so like let's say you take four hit points of damage you type that in there it adds up to wounds and it tells you your current hit points right down there um 
if you pick like the fighter class where you get a hit point bonus, you type that in and it adds it all in. So there's a lot of stuff that is already uh, being figured out for you when you use these sheets. Uh, power points are equal to your power. Experience bonus is half your intelligence rounded up, and we see that right here above your skills, which is five. Uh, experience bonus is used when you're leveling up at the end of a game night. Uh, movement is how fast you move during combat. Medium-sized characters can normally move 10 units per round. A unit is five feet. See movement for definition in definitions. So we'll head down here to movement. So uh, my size is 13, so that's average. So then I type in 10 for my movement. All right, so uh, back up to the top. Um, your add con, uh, add your uh, constitution to power, and then multiply that by five to get your max horror resist. So con plus power is 22, and uh, that should come up here on... Uh, is that right? Add your con to power and then multiply that by 5 to get your max horror resist. That's showing up as 50. Looks like that formula C15 times 5. C15 is power. Um, huh. I'm going to mark this. I believe it should be uh, that this should be just your power times five. So look here, I'm editing as we go. It's a lot to get a new rule book put out. Um, two, All right, so next is, and this is probably the part that's going to take the longest, is adding in your skills. So you get 250 points for your profession skills and you get intelligence times 10 for your personal skills. And then there's also the skill category bonus, which has already been figured in. See here with under each one, like perception is five. So uh, combat is like, that's dex divided by two. So if my dex is 15 divided by two uh, is uh, 17 or 7.5. So rounded up is 15. Um, and to do this, we head over to the skill worksheet. And so for this, we've got, this is, to the left is your base. So that's what you already have starting out as your base score. If you did not ever, like, learn any more than that. To the right is your category uh, bonus. And then you do profession points and personal points. And then remember, we also have the five points that we rolled for skilled to go into miscellaneous. So as a hunter, I'm going to, come down on the right here under creating your character and go to hunter so here I see what my profession skills are and they are uh, climb and hide and what I'm gonna do is put an X next to it so that way I know which ones are which so climb and hide that are both physical uh, listen that's gonna be perception right yep perception um, navigate, that's going to be a big one when we're playing the, this uh, living campaign. So if you can put some points in navigate, I'll do it. Uh, you, the only way to navigate to the next hex is to successfully use your navigate skill. Then we got uh, spot, which is also under perception. Stealth, which is under dexterous. And track. So we got a lot of perception, which I got just an okay bonus in. Uh, the one that I have the most category bonus, uh, you'd think would be dex. Because dex was, what, 15. And so it's 8 and 8. But why is that 5? Character sheet D21. D21, because that's going under communication. That needs to be D5. 
31. Well, I know what I have to go edit after to check up on after we run this. All right, so eight and then physical and combat is D41. Nope, once again, it's supposed to be D31. All right, well, that's something for me to fix later on. Um, so now that we've got those, oh, and I have three more to pick from the following. Uh, knowledge, natural history, or region, language, other, melee weapon, missile weapon, or ride. So I'm going to do um, one in slashing weapon, one in ranged weapon, and then uh, don't worry about languages. Languages are figured out uh, in a different way that's not as skill-based later on. Uh, so I'm going to do knowledge region. Let's do that and change that to say region. All right. So the easiest way, I have 10 skills, is I'm going to just go in and put 25 in each one that I want to do. Now, no skill can be over 75 in the beginning. So if you add in 25 and it goes over, then you're going to have to move those points a little bit, move them around a little bit. Now, uh, let's see, one, two, where did I miss some? Uh huh. 25 and 25. So down at the bottom, it adds up and it tells you how many you've got. So I've used all 25 of mine. And so 48, 55. Well, they are all not very close to, to 75. So I'm going to lower some of these down. Uh, I'm going to take 5 out of listen, um, 5 out of hide. And I'm going to add that to ranged weapons. So that's going to take ranged weapons up to 58. Uh, so now I have uh, my intelligence, which is my personal skills, which is intelligence times 5. My intelligence is 10. So I get to just do some skills that I like. Got to do some there. Acrobatics is always good. Sleight of hand. Stealth again. Uh, first aid, I think, is going to be important. Um, survival. Let's see, what am I at right now? 40, so I'm still pretty low. Uh, Got to do five and jump. Five in athletics. Five in that. Let's do 15 more in that, 10 in that, um, do 5 in shield, I don't know if he's going to have a shield yet, uh, actually no, let's not have him go with shield, let's go more with dodge, so we're at 95, and we'll do 5 more in track, so now we're at 250 and 100. And then we got those five more that we can spend anywhere. And I am going to put that in Dodge. So he's really good at ranged weapons. Decent at Dodge. Oh, wait. That's his grapple. It helps if I put it in the right. That's why I put the name on both sides. Okay, so now Dodge is 53, 73 for ranged, 70 for climb, 45 for track. So pretty good start out. And then, uh, what did I say? Navigate is 35. So it's pretty low, but, you know, we'll build it up quickly. Because in Sagaborn, I'm going to have everyone roll up at the end of the night. So that way your characters can advance uh, skills pretty quickly for the living campaign. Um, so the next step, we've done assign movement. We've picked 
uh, profession skills. Now we go down to talents. And for that, we have to go back to the BRP site, the Sagaborn BRP site, and click on skills. Now this explains all the skills. If you don't know what a skill means, uh, this still needs a lot of cleanup. I'm, I'm working hard on getting that done. Uh, like, for example, explaining grapple here. I think I'm going to make it much more simple than they have it. Um, some things might be like monster lore we're adding in uh, as a type of knowledge. Um, I just haven't had a chance to fill all that in yet. And hopefully as we play the game, you know, we'll add that in as people use it. Uh, but we go come down here to talents. So you get uh, three talent points uh, when you start out at level one. Uh, in fact, I should put that on the character sheet as well. So, um, and what it does is every uh, sort of path-based talent has prerequisites. And then there's also common talents, which are skill talents, combat talents, magic talents, and then special talents. So the idea is that you're not really tied down to a class uh, but you go down different paths, which can lead you, you know, so for example, on the right here, if you see Ranger can go to Quick Shot, that's the first talent in that path, but then you could go the way of Artful Dodger to Sneak Attack to Trap Finding, or you could go to Expert Tracker, Fast Movement, and then even all the way up to pow Powerful Attack, so you can s like weave your way through this web to build the character that you want, or you can be jump right across you can save up talent points for when you level up jump right across and also get spell memory and be like a ranger uh who has the ability to cast spells uh all of that is you know however you want to play your character and you start out with three talents and the rule is is for the living campaign for every three uh adventure nights that you're a part of you gain another talent point so uh you I also feel like that'd be a pretty quick way to see your character level up. Uh, you know, cause there's not really levels, but like level up within this path talent tree. So um, I'm going to pick a little space for talents over here. Uh, quick shot, which starts me on my ranger path. And then um, let's go down. Ranger is an expert. So let's see, we want Quick Shot, we could go Artful Dodger, um, or we could go Favorite Enemy, which is definitely what I want to go with. Because I always love that with Rangers. And so uh, Favorite Enemy uh, gets, you're allowed to add 1d6 damage, and uh, I don't, it's not listed here. We need to do it, but I'm going to choose Navirite, which is a type of like a demon from another world. Um, so with that, we keep, it keeps track of talent points down here for you. And I've now finished out my uh, uh, character creation section of this, of this, uh, for this sheet. So now that I'm out of the character creation, the last thing is, is to buy equipment. And that is based on, so right here you can see what you get as a hunter. Uh, you get, let's see, where is equipment? Over here. So you get basic clothing, uh, short bow, and a small weapon. So that will be a dagger. Uh, and then the funds are 1d4, so there's not a lot of funds that they're getting. And so I rolled a 2. So 2 times 5, 10 plus 5, so I get 15 gold pieces to spend. And then I head over here, go to equipment, and then I figure out what I can spend 15 gold pieces on. Uh, on the front sheet, I believe. Is that where it's at? Nope. I know I have gold on here. Aha, there we go. So I'm going to type in 15 gold pieces and go through and just figure out whether it's equipment or kits uh, that I need, though there's probably not going to be many kits. I can afford a cooking kit. Um, and yes, you start out with a very small amount of money, um, but that's because... Uh, 
everyone in this campaign is heading west. They're ending up at a refugee camp, and then they're going out into the dark uh, Erkin forest, trying to build a road to uh, a better place, and nobody has a lot of money. So that's why that is that starts you out so low. It'll still get, get you some rations. It'll still get you a couple other abilities, but then you just got to go out and adventure and get those uh, next bits of loot. So that way you can have some more stuff. Um, over here, uh, you know, you just type in that we have a short bow. Uh, it has a broadsword in there just to check uh, just where I was typing out to make sure it all fit. Uh, so it's a uh, ranged weapon, so I would know. Uh, and you can see all the stuff from the skill worksheet also transferred over to here. So all these numbers uh, should add up correctly. Um, so ranged weapons is 73. So since I know what that is, I'll be using that skill right there. And if I'm using the, this skill sheet while I'm playing, I can just type an X uh, right next to it every time I successfully use it. And that means I'll level it up uh, at the end of the night. Um, and so uh, if you get armor, that goes on your... Uh, over here in your equipment sheet. So let's just uh, go ahead and try that. That's the one last thing that will really fill in stuff. So we'll just say that I have uh, soft leather armor, which can I afford it 10 gold pieces? That's going to take almost all my gold pieces. And we're going to type in leather armor soft, which gives us one armor value. So we type in leather, armor value one, and then that's your current armor value. Uh, there is armor damage, and that's kept track of whenever you take uh, one uh, a critical hit and your armor absorbs some of that damage, it becomes damaged and you, you lose an, an AV point for every time it's damaged. It can be repaired, but that does mean that your armor uh, can go down uh, and actually become just a weight that you're carrying until you have a chance to fix it. But of course, a lot of that we'll discuss during play and when it happens and, uh, you know, also formulate the rules and see how, how it works and make sure it keeps working to make the game fun, uh, and, and not a chore. That's always my goal. But, uh, so there it is. There's a quick rundown of how to make a character for, uh, Sagaborn. BRP. And uh, if you have any questions, hit me up on the Discord. Uh, there'll be a link down below. There'll be a link to the character sheet and the Sagaborn website. And uh, let's roll up some characters and start adventuring. So thanks a lot. And uh, I'll talk to all of y'all later.